Hey, YouTube, welcome to Quickfire. Ken, Cosmo, reloading. Is it worth it or is it not? Yes. It depends on why oh. you're reloading. Yeah. That's it also depends you. on how much you shoot. So, yes, it it's it's beneficial for me because if I buy custom-made long-range ammo, it's really fucking expensive. But I can hand-load it at probably a third the cost of the high-end stuff you buy online. But aren't you having a problem finding components? Not no, anymore. I stockpiled that shit like two years ago. Yeah. It's to the point now where it's everywhere and it's... Yeah. Yeah. My original plan was to make sure I had enough components to, la to last until the next presidential election. And uh -huh. I might be able to last until the one after that at this point. I don't know. Yeah, pretty now, much. My I just issue... kept buying until I ran out of storage space and I made more storage space. My, my issue is the particular powder I use for my pistol. Um, I cannot find it in my regional area. Well, and it doesn't help the fact that you go through hundreds of rounds every time you go to a competition. That's true. So that but doesn't I, help your cause. I think the one the one one pound bottle of uh, Accurate Number Two will last me. I think I get I think I get between uh, right around a thousand rounds out of it. So you're so, not finding it over there because no. we're finding it over here. Oh, yeah, I know. It's just sitting I, around in piles over here. Yeah. Right. I had I had Cosmo pick me up two uh, two bottles of it or you're two welcome. pounds of it. Your, thanks. Happy birthday. Yeah. Mother yeah, appreciate that. Um, <laughs> back in April. And then, um, yeah, I, I looked for six months around here, and most of the stores said they haven't seen Accurate Number 2 in over a year. They're Which is weird because it's got to cross all the way to the West Coast and then go back over the mountain. For Accurate? I thought Accurate was made in Colorado or Arizona or some shit like that. I'm still saying it's got to come f across the eastern Washington to western oh. Washington. Oh, yeah. And then go yeah. back over the mountain to you guys. None, so none, none fell it's just off not the making UPS it over truck. there. Yeah, none it didn't fell off, fall the, off the UPS truck on the way. To, yeah, no. Um, you know what the crazy part about it is? I even called the the local distributors, and they said they haven't seen any in a while as well. Maybe so, I just got really strange. lucky at the local place that I go. I don't know. And that's very possible. You could have, but yeah, I I, I searched. Um, I mean, I looked all over North Idaho, Eastern Washington. Any time I went out of town for work, I would check out the local gun stores and see if they had any accurate powder, and they didn't carry. They didn't have any accurate at all. Uh, not so, accurate five, not accurate two, none of them. Hmm. Which is really so weird. Reloading has definite good benefits for. If you can find what you're looking for. If you can find what you're looking for. And but, if you're the kind of person that's meticulous enough to do it correctly. Because some people just aren't cut out yeah. for that sort of stuff, and those are the people that are going to blow their face off. Now, blow your, your hands blow off. your face off. Now, blow your you hands. Think, do you think you guys have recouped your money? From your your equipment investment yet? Maybe by I'm reloading. Buying more equipment though and upgrades. And yeah, it's always like upgrading. That. But more so if you want to take my calories. initial buy-in, sure. Yeah, yeah, I could say I have my initial buy-in. But all the updates and the uh, the better scales and the different measures and yeah, no. How many how many uh, how many presses have you guys bought? One. One. I'm on my number. I'm on my third. I did it right the first time. Yeah, pretty much. So, um, you know, the nice thing about reloading is, you know, you can make a bunch of ammo and then sh slowly shoot it. I'm, I'm still shooting the stuff that Ken and I reloaded, like, three summers ago, I think. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you just sent me that picture the other night. You're like, hey, look, how much I got left? And it was still, like, half an ammo can. Yeah, you it's ran like, out, God. like, last year or the year before, but I'm still, like. You're still finding it in but, cans placed around the garage. It just depends on when you actually get out and go shooting, though. Right. See, I haven't been like, shooting I mean, much I, in the last year. I can't, yeah, keep, I can't keep ammo stocked because I use 150, yeah. 200 rounds a weekend. See, you do a lot of you do all pistol shooting where we shoot mainly rifles. So, I mean, I've got yeah. a ton of pistol ammo loaded up, and I barely shoot it. But when I go out and shoot my rifle, it's yeah, I, I go through a, a good a good amount of ammo. So there's one other thing for me, um, reloading. I I actually enjoy it for one. Um, yeah. And it the weird thing is, I'll buy hundreds of dollars worth of reloading components without batting an eye. But when I look at the price of ammo, it makes me crazy, and I don't even want oh, to do right? with it. So it's disgusting. something. There's some mental thing for me where I don't mind buying the components to make it myself. But when I see the price of the ammo, I'm just like, no way. I'm glad I'm not buying that. On a different side of reloading, if you are someone that is really wanting to get into shooting vintage weapons, like you know World War One, World War Two era stuff, even older, reloading is your only option in a lot of cases, depending on caliber. 
Um, there are some calibers out there, and what's that one guy, um, he's out here on YouTube, uh, Iraq Veteran 8888, there's stuff that he reloads that you can't even get cases for anymore. He's making, he's, so. <laughs> Sorry, we're just laughing because you just cut out again, but you said, he's making <laughs> cases for the ammo. We heard it. Yeah, We, we saw your much. mouth. <laughs> I gotta figure that audio thing out. But yeah, so, well, and like your Blackout Cosmo, I mean, that's, that that's stuff That's what is, got me started, actually. That stuff um, is stupid expensive. I had no desire to reload it all until I bought that, uh, until I built that 300 Blackout, and then when I realized that the rounds were 65 cents a piece, and that was for the cheap stuff, I'm like, oh, this will not stand. So, you know, I went and got some 150-grain uh, M80 uh, bullets and started making my own. Went to a yeah, what local, we... local guy's house that that teaches people how to reload. He showed me what to do, and so I went home and started doing it. Yeah, what and did we find out? The, for just about everything. The goods, the the good blackout ammo is like a dollar something a round. It was Which absurd. Is stupid. Yeah. Yeah. It's stupid. Well, I I on my pistol ammo. If I want decent pistol ammo, um, I'm paying about 120 dollars for 200 rounds, 200 250 rounds somewhere in there, and um, that's for decent shit. I reload my 9mm at like 15, 20 cents a round. Yeah, no, get me wrong. With that's that's My cost is about 17 cents per round on 40. Um, if you look at God, the... 40? Huh? Don't start this 9mm 40, 45 yeah. battle bullshit because you'll fucking lose. But yeah, seven, about, I figured about 17 to 20 cents a round depending on how much uh, components are as far as the bullets are if I'm using... You know, um, round nose, flat point, uh, just depending yeah. on what manufacturer I use. So, so the more the the more in bulk you buy, the cheaper you get. Yep, yep. Buy in bulk yeah. if you can. Buy as much as you can when you can when they allow it, yep. and enjoy it. Like Cosmo said, well, I'll go over to his place and we'll just reload for a couple hours and realize, holy shit, we've got a couple hundred rounds sitting here on the floor. And and progressive presses, if you get them to run right, are worth the money. Because get, get his dial, then yeah. it's like chunk, 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 chunk. Yep, exactly. Yeah, that shit's every, like a slot machine. That's what I feel like. Every time I pull the handle, I'm fucking winning. I'm getting a bullet every time. It's awesome. I love it. Yeah, yeah. I also did enjoy watching your wife ream you a new one every time a new press part came in. Oh, bird! Guess what? I don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Fuckers. Says that's, that's a good thing. Yeah. Oh, well. yeah. Sorry, dude. 